Hey guys and thanks for joining me in this video. Today I wanted to share with you some of the new upcoming releases for spring 2021. I've already shared with you some photos of the upcoming new spring makeup collections for Dior and Chanel and I'm going to have links to those videos in the description box but in this video I wanted to talk about all of the new releases that we expect for spring 2021 and I would like to invite all of you to join me in the discussion below and let me know which products you would want to see on this channel and you would want me to review. So let's go ahead and get started. There are some very interesting new releases for spring 2021 and I wanted to discuss with you together. I'm going to be inserting photos right here or here um, and I'm going to be looking mainly at my phone so that we can look at the same photos at the same time. So let's go ahead and get started. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. Please consider subscribing. I love talking about luxury beauty and fragrances and I would love to have you as part of my lovely beauty community. So please subscribe and turn the notification bell on. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and also check out my blog at angelavanrose.com. So for this video, I'm going to be using photos from some Asian accounts and from Chic Profile. You know Tavia from Chic Profile. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I always mention her when I do my Will I Buy It videos or when I share with you some beauty news. I always mention her because she has the hottest beauty news because she's always following the latest beauty trends. So I'm going to have a of her information in the description box below. She has a blog and she has a Patreon account which every, all the information about Tavi is going to be in the description box. So if you're interested in luxury beauty, definitely go ahead and check her out. I'm also going to link to the Asian accounts from which I'm taking photos for this video. So let's get started. Now, the first product that I want to talk about is the new brand that a lot of you probably don't even know. And I posted a few days ago a um, photo on Instagram and a lot of you were interested to see more from the brand and a lot of you were very attracted to one blush photo that I posted and this is by a French brand and this is La Dure. So those of you who love France probably have heard this brand because this is a very famous bakery and tea house and you can get they are famous for their macarons and every time when I go to Paris I always try and take advantage and go there and choose from their amazing macarons but also they have a makeup line and they started actually their makeup line a few years ago and I purchased their blush which was very very beautiful like literally the most beautiful blush that I ever had in my life. Unfortunately, I don't have it here with me um, because I really wanted to show it to you. But back then I didn't even have a YouTube channel when I purchased this blush. But this blush was a real work of art. It was in such beautiful packaging and the blush itself looked like rose petals. So for this spring, they're coming out with new powder blushes and they are compact blushes. The packaging is very adorable. I would say not as adorable as the packaging of the rose petals blush, but let me know if you interested I'm going to try and get some of these blushes take a look at the packaging like the packaging and the colors are so beautiful all of the colors actually if I could I would literally purchase the whole collection unfortunately I don't have a budget for that but all of the colors look so pretty and so beautiful so definitely let me know what you think in the comments below next I want to talk about Chanel and I was actually going to talk about the new Le Lyon fragrance from Chanel because it was supposed to be released in January 2021 but we were surprised by Chanel and Chanel released it a few days ago and I was able to get a sample from this fragrance so I have already posted a full review of this fragrance so in case you're interested I think this is a fragrance that is very suitable for the holiday season so we expected that this fragrance is going to be released in January but Chanel surprised us so it's released right now it's in Chanel's boutiques it's a rich intense oriental fragrance that I think is very suitable for the holiday season so I'm going to have a link in the description box if you want to check that out um, and also I'm going to have a link to my video because I did a full review of this fragrance moving on to Chanel Chanel's spring makeup collection. For spring 2021, I already did a video and I showed you some photos of the spring makeup collection. A lot of you were actually disappointed to see the photos because the two eyeshadow palettes look quite similar and also it looks like Lucia Pica is again going to be playing with this reddish brick colors which not everyone loves. I'm definitely going to get this collection and I'm definitely going to review it so make sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on. I always love to review Chanel collections and I'm a huge Chanel lover. 
To be honest with you, I'm also not very impressed with this collection because the two eyeshadow palettes, if I didn't have a YouTube channel, I was probably going to skip one of the eyeshadow palettes, if not both of the eyeshadow palettes. The only interesting piece here looks like it's the blush, but we have to see how this is going to look. I'm I'm not sure if this is going to be suitable for all skin tones, but we are going to see. There is going to be also a new mascara in a little bit reddish color, which I'm definitely going to skip because I just don't think that... I don't like... Um, I usually wear only black mascara and I, I'm not very attracted to this kind of a reddish brick color. And also there are going to be new shades of the Extreme Matte Lipsticks from Chanel, which I'm definitely going to be skipping, but I want to try the new lip lacquers from Chanel. I'm very attracted to those. And there are also going to be three nail polishes and the red metallic nail polish looks quite attractive to me. Moving on to Dior. Now Dior's makeup collection, I have a video already um, showing you some of the photos from Dior's spring makeup collection. Dior's spring makeup collections always look very pretty and very beautiful and a lot of you reacted very positively. So Dior are coming out with two new three oblique eyeshadow palettes and I'm quite attracted to those. I'm definitely going to get these two also because they look a bit similar, not very much, but they look a bit similar and I just want to get them to compare them for you so that you can decide which one is going to be the better option for you. Also, Dior are going to come out with new lip oils, which obviously last year this was very, this was like the star product for Dior. And also uh, they, there are going to be two very interesting products, which are going to be like cheek products. I suppose they're going to be illuminating something in between illuminator and blush and they're going to give that kind of a wet effect. So this illuminating sticks look very interesting to me. And then also Dior are coming out with new rouge lipsticks. So I am curious because I love the lipstick formulation of Dior. So I'm definitely going to get one or two pieces from Dior. And hopefully if we are not in lockdown and if they're available in my local Sephora, I'm going to try and swatch them all for you. So also there is going to be a new Quint from Dior, which looks very, very attractive. And I'm definitely going to get this one as well. Moving on to Guerlain and Guerlain are going to come out with a very interesting new collection. I really like the two lip colors that we see on the photo. I like both of the lip colors and I'm going to try and get them both. And it looks like there is going to be a new Meteorites Pearl Glow palette. Now I have the Pearl Glow palette from last, from this summer actually, and I really love it. It's, it's my favorite highlighter trio. So I really love it and I'm probably going to get also the other palette that is going to be released in the spring because Guerlain do amazing highlighters. Suku are also going to come out with um, a whole new collection of eyeshadow palettes. Let me know if you want me to review them because last time I think that most of you were not very interested um, in Suku makeup, I purchased the holiday collection. I did a full review of the holiday collection, but I don't think that a lot of you were interested. So let me know how you feel about Suku. So otherwise it doesn't make sense for me to purchase. So let me know in the comments below. I'm probably going to skip this collection because I don't see much interest. NARS are also coming out with a new collection for spring 2021 and it looks like there is going to be one eyeshadow quad which to be honest with you I'm not very attracted to the colors. Let me know what you think but for me if you're not interested um, for me this is going to be a very easy pass because I'm not very attracted to the lipsticks and I'm not very attracted to the eyeshadow quad. I mean, I don't see, I cannot really see the colors, but it looks like they are going to be mainly neutral colors. Let me know what you think. And also there is going to be um, translucent compact powder. Bobbi Brown is going to have a new collection for the Chinese New Year, which is going to be released in January uh, 2021. There is an interesting eyeshadow palette from Bobbi Brown, but I'm not sure that it's going to be available in Europe, so I'm probably going to skip this one as well. There is going to be a very interesting new release from Chanel, and these are Le Lion lipsticks, um, or Le Lion lipsticks, which have that, that little lion pattern on top and I loved the camellia lipsticks that they released last year I think it was last year yes I really loved the camellia lipsticks so I'm definitely going to get one or two shades from 
Le Lyon lipsticks from Chanel because I'm a huge Chanel lover and even though the colors don't look groundbreaking, they don't look so interesting, I'm probably going to get 237, which is a very interesting shade. And moving on to YSL's Spring Makeup Collection, I am so attracted to the packaging. I showed you already the palette on Instagram and I am very, very attracted to the packaging of this eyeshadow palette. I'm definitely going to get this one if it's available, but I think it's going to be available here. So I'm definitely going to review this palette because the packaging is so beautiful. It's that light pink color, which is very suitable for the spring season. And also the colors of the eyeshadows look very nice. Okay, guys. So I I think these are all of the beauty news that I have so far. Thank you so much for joining me and don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think and which are the collections that you are most interested in and what do you want to see on my YouTube channel because this helps me a lot to plan my content and to plan my budget as well because I'm purchasing all of these products. So let me know in the comments below what you want to see from the spring collections. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.